this is just one of my passive income sources that made over $78,000 last year alone. Here's another one bringing me over $30,000 last year alone. And another that made me over $5,400 last year alone. And this isn't counting many other businesses that produce passive income for me on a day-to-day -day basis without doing any extra work. And a lot of gurus out there say passive income isn't real, but I beg to differ. In fact, I've been generating little passive income money magnets for the last 25 years. Some of them make me anywhere from $5 a day. Some of them make me several thousand dollars a day. And right here, right now, in this training, I'm going to teach you how to set up little passive income ideas and money magnets that will put money in your pocket. Guaranteed. Yep. That's right, if you follow this to the letter, you will get results. And notice how all the screenshots I'm sharing with you are my personal results. A lot of other people are going to borrow results from stores and stats where they don't even know how much profit they're making, what they're doing to get the income. They just say something like, oh look, there's a sticker business making $50 million a second. And using AI, you can do it too. However, We've all been there, and I'm sure you've tried these different methods and gotten nowhere really fast. So today, I'm going to talk to you about something very important, and that is the nature of how passive income works. But first, a little illustration. Here in Florida, we have a supermarket called Publix. And one day, I was asking the Publix manager how much the store in my area generated on a given day. She said it was somewhere between fifty dollars and $120,000 a day. Yep, $100,000 a day selling groceries. Now, most people will look at this and say, well, Marcus, that's a lot of money, but I can't really start a grocery store. I don't really have the money, and what does this have to do with using AI to make passive income? Well, friend, pay close attention to this right here. This is lemon pepper. You've probably passed this thousands of times in the grocery store, maybe even picked it up yourself and thought nothing of it. And this is where most people get passive income raw. They are looking at the grocery store as a whole. This gigantic business making $100,000 a day. But to get to the root of passive income, we need to understand the lemon pepper principle. You see, this little jar of lemon pepper might not seem like a big money maker. However, hundreds of thousands of these are sold each and every year, maybe even millions. In fact, the McCormick Seasoning Company is worth like $18 billion. But did they do it by just making a seasoning company one day? Nope, they started very small. And as many business books say, there's only one way to eat an elephant. Why they talk about eating elephants is beyond me. But let's humor them. And that is one bite at a time. And while you might be out there looking for passive income ideas, ways to make money online, and you're trying to jump the whole staircase in one go, instead of simply taking each little step. What if your business could be like the lemon pepper and you could just sell one thing really good and make $5,000 a year, just like this example here that made me $5,000 last year without any work. And people say, well, Marcus, $5,000, that's barely enough to cover my monthly bills. And again, you're thinking as a whole. And I'm going to share with you one key word distinction. We need to have a distinction between an entire business and something that makes money passively over and over and over again. Because all I need to do to make $100,000 a year in passive income is make 20 little passive money magnets like the one that makes me $5,000 here. 
If I wanted to make a million dollars a year, all I would need is about 200 of those. And you might be saying, well, Marcus, 200 passive income ideas working for me, that seems like a bit much. But remember, the $5,000 example was my smallest example. Some of these will make $100,000 a year on their own. Some might even make a million dollars a year. And some might make a few dollars a day. But over time, this is going to add up fast. And while everyone out there is trying to make $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month, or even more, what I've been doing is silently setting up little passive income generators. Yeah, simple little things that you can create in like an afternoon. And like clockwork, these put money in my bank account each and every day. So I got one question for him. Is it worth hanging out with me for about 45 minutes to learn exactly how to set these up so you can make profit on your own with no fluff, no filler, no theory, only real world top-notch training based on things that I've actually done myself? And if you said yes, smash that like button. Let's hop on over to the big computer and I'll show you how to generate passive income ideas that put money in your pocket every single day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> as I mentioned, the key to passive income is all in distinction. If we can make a distinction in our market, our niche, or whatever we're trying to do online, then we can make money in a really simple way passively. Now, <clears throat> when we go through here, what we need to do is we need to look at where we're going to be. There's lots of different passive income ideas that you can use with AI. Now, using AI is kind of elusive. People say, oh, you could just get AI, you could get some stickers, you can make some money, just slap something together and you're going to get rich. A lot of people talk about books, low content books and things like that which are good, they can make some passive income, but a lot of times what happens is you're not following the data and you're not looking at the actual real world stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at these passive income ideas and we're gonna share with you some things that you can use to actually start turning a profit. Now, when we go through and we look at this, we are going to take a look at some of the major things that are out there. We have blogging, we have affiliate marketing, we have YouTube channels, faceless YouTube channels, different things like that. And we have all this stuff here for you at downloadmynotes.com where you can get this whole notes. Digital products, drop shipping, print on demand. Now, a lot of these things have to do with building a business and understanding how this stuff all fits together, which seems kind of daunting. And if you're out there and you're watching and you're listening and you say, Marcus, you know, I see all this stuff and it sounds good. I'd like to build a blog. I'd like to do affiliate marketing or whatever it is. And I just feel like there's a lot of info overload. I feel like I'm not getting the big picture and even the small picture to make a distinction because print on demand, does it make money? Well, yes, it does. But what's missing is the distinction of what you're going to do with it. How are you going to make passive income with it? When we look at something else, maybe you go out there and you say, well, I'm gonna do some affiliate marketing or blogging. A lot of these things have a lot of overlap and what we need to understand is that if we can do something small, right? If we can go out there and start our passive income and start something small, very easy. Maybe we go out there and we say, okay, I'm going to use AI to make something that generates $20 a day each and every day. Now, if you were able to do that, that would be roughly $6,000 by the end of the year. Actually closer to seven, I think, if you do the math, right? So we're looking at this and we're like, okay, now that's something I can do because then if I can make five or 10 of them, then I got an income that's actually doing really good for me. But what's happening is a lot of people are focusing on the wrong numbers and they're not looking at the fact that everything can be broken up much like the grocery store example. And when we have this, people come to me all the time and they show me their websites and they have some gigantic store with a million different drop shipping products. And I'm like, that's fine and good, but you're not focused on something specific. You'd, might, you'd be much better off focusing on one little thing. And this is where the magic happens because until you focus on direct things, 
you're not gonna find those that produce a hundred, two hundred, a thousand dollars a day or more. The only way you're gonna find them is by going out there and looking at the data <clears throat> and starting with the smaller stuff. So when we look at this, we need to understand what types of things are going to do this. What are the kind of things that we can create with AI to make passive income? Well, let's take a look. First of all, we need to understand that right now, there's a lot of money being made online. I think it was something like Amazon made, I don't know, like a half a trillion dollars uh, last year alone. This is a lot of zeros here. I think, let's see, there's, there's our million, there's our uh, billion, right? And we look at this and we're like, okay, that is a lot of money. What, what gives? How can we get part of this money that's going on online? Because the fact is Amazon is making this every day online. We can use Amazon to get a piece of this. A lot of people are, but we need to look at it in a different way and understand the distinction of what we are going to do exactly to the T without wavering. And when we look at that, what we are going to do is say, well, we need to set up something that I call an AI money magnet. What is an AI money magnet? Well, an AI money magnet is the idea of being able to create something with AI that serves a need of people. Now, we're not just talking search engines and YouTubes and things like that. This is something you can do over and over and over again that will serve the needs of people. Okay, very, very cool. So if I can create something one time and it can produce money over and over and over again, then I am going to win the game. Much like investing in real estate, people make a lot of money investing in real estate because it is something that is going to produce over and over. As long as that house is sitting there, chances are people will rent it and you will get money. So now when we're understanding this, we have to go out there and we have to look at the different things that are available. First of all, what we need to do is we need to answer one big question. This is the first distinction that we have. And if you're digging this, smash the like button. A lot of people don't talk about this stuff, but the distinction, the first one we need is going to have money signs on it. And hopefully you guys like the old blackboard here. It actually it comes across on camera a lot better. So the distinction here is going to be who or what pays me, okay? If you cannot answer this question, do not start the business, plain and simple. If you can't answer who or what is going to pay you, then don't set up a website, don't buy a product, don't buy whatever. You need to go back to the basis. This is the core of info overload. If you're struggling with info overload, this will solve the problem right here, right now. So when we look at this, we're going to say, okay, we could do Amazon, we could do e-commerce, we could do all this stuff. We could license content, we could create a podcast, webinars, all this stuff, all right? It seems overwhelming, and yes, it is. We're even going to get into buying and selling domains and flipping and rank and rent and all this other stuff, okay? But a lot of this is going to seem out of reach if you're not distincting, making a distinction, I think is the right way to say it, right? Between what is going to pay you and what is not. Case in point, a lot of the money that I've made passively is from affiliate offers, my own products, AdSense, different things like this. But until you understand who or what's going to pay you, then you're going to be left out in the cold. Let's go ahead and open up Spy Fu as well, because I want to show you guys a, another way to look at this and another way to figure out how you're going to get paid. So one of the things that I do is I can go to Offer Vault and I can find offers. This in business is what we call a constant. Okay, a constant is something we know for sure. Okay, that is something we know as sure as the sun is going to come up tomorrow, we know that that is going to happen. Now, what we need to do is we need to find a constant that is going to work. Maybe you're gonna sell wigs or whatever this vitamin thing is or whatever it is, okay? Let's say we had a constant 
which is home services bathroom quotes. Okay, this is a little quiz they take. They put their email in the end and bada bing, bada boom, you get four dollars. Right? They put their email in a box, you get four bucks. That's how many of you guys are like, wait a minute. So I could do affiliate marketing and I don't even gotta sell anything? Exactly. I've made millions of dollars using this method where literally what you're doing is, is generating leads, getting people to download tools and softwares and things like that, all kinds of stuff. So very, very simple. Okay. And we're looking at this and I'm like, okay, this is a constant, or maybe you're going to look at uh, this one for school searches, right? Very cool. That is a constant. Now we can also look at something like uh, ClickBank, let's say, I think, let's go into the marketplace here, affiliate marketplace, there we go. So we'll go to the affiliate marketplace, right, like this, and maybe I can say, well, let's, let's find a product that is a constant that I can use, okay? What is something that I can generate money with? All right, maybe go to new offers or even top offers and see what the fancy stuff is, okay? Now pay close attention, this one here, some kind of diet supplement, a lot of people promoting it, makes good money. Uh, some kind of blood sugar thing, you got all kinds of stuff like that. Now, I would advise against doing really big health products unless you know, you're doing it in a passive way. Sometimes you can get into to some trouble there. However, we could go through and we can do something like maybe we go through as seen on TV or computers and internet, e-business and marketing, all kinds of things like that, all right? So let's say that we wanted to start something that can make us some money passively. We wanna make money over and over and over again from something that we do one time. This is the key to passive income because if you can do this, then you're gonna be able to make a lot more over time. Now, when we look at stuff, we could say live chat jobs or get paid to use Facebook, app reviews, all kinds of different things like that. Let's say we wanted to do app reviews or maybe even um, something else, paid, paid writing jobs, okay? Very cool. Or maybe we wanna go off the beaten path and say, well, let's do something for, uh, let's go up to categories and maybe we'll do, how do we get back to categories? Top offers, there we go. And maybe we'll go in and do something like maybe education or green products, okay? So let's say, uh, we have an easy power plan, battery stuff, solar, septic tank. Okay, so now we got something about septic tanks or whatever, okay? $84 a sale. How many of you guys are like, okay, I get it. That's pretty cool. If I was able to make $84 a sale or one sale a day, that would be $84 a day times 365 is roughly, I don't know, do the math, like, I don't know something like that, close to 40 grand or something, right? 20 grand, something like that. And so we go through, we're like, okay, that is a constant. That is something that we know for a fact. Now, what am I going to do here? Well, what I need to do is I need to think creatively. Now, a lot of people have been saying, well, you know, making money online has to do with traffic, getting traffic. All right. Humor me for a minute because what you've been taught about traffic is probably wrong. Let me say that again. What you've been taught about traffic is most likely probably wrong. And so what we're going to do is we are going to start with the group of people who would want this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, septic fix. Great. 80 bucks. People are selling it. 100 bucks a sale. Looking pretty good. All right. Now what I would do is I would go through to a free keyword tool, free keyword tool tool, three words, okay? And we're gonna go through, and we are going to say something like septic, all right? And we'll type septic in, and we'll see what kind of things people have. So we have septic tank, septic tank pumping, service cleaning, all this other stuff, okay? So now we're looking at all this stuff, and we're like, okay, well maybe, maybe I can produce something of value for these people that they would want to use. Now, let me give you a, a basic idea of how this works, okay? A basic idea of how this works was, I grew up in the 80s, and in the 80s, realtors tried to market in crazy ways, right? They'd send you a pen, they'd send you a notepad with their face on top of it, oh, hey, John Brown, the realtor is going to help you out. 
some of the realtors were actually pretty crafty and they would send you a free guide guide and the free guide would be hey here's how to sell your house without getting ripped off or here's how to figure out the value of your home so what they're doing is they're leading with value all right notepad yeah I mean that is value but not for the real estate market we just scribbled our grocery stuff on it and called our family realtor because we didn't care about the other ones or even a calendar right that's value but it's not the right value in order to make passive income we need the right value so if we could do something like a free guide and if you are a realtor out there do this method it's gonna work better than pads and and pens and hats and gloves and coffee koozies and things like that and if you're not a realtor and you want to make money teach realtors to do this all right very easy step but if I was out there and I wanted to do this I would create the free guide on how to value your house that's gonna work that's gonna do well if you understand that type re guide in the comments and in the box because if you understand that this will drive sales this is a money magnet this would be a money magnet that would drive people to the realtor day in day in day out over and over and over again so creating this one thing one time will make money are you guys getting it smash a like button if you get it because this is where everything revolves and a lot of people talk about all these things that are going to make passive income this is the one constant that I know that will work over and over and over again and all we need to do is figure out something that is going to pay us now maybe you're saying well Marcus I'm not a realtor I don't know how this is going to work what are we going to do okay well if I go through and I look at something like septic tank or maybe I can do septic uh, cleaning something like this or septic pumping or whatever it is okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find something that will work so septic cleaning cost products how much does it cost okay septic maybe maintenance I'm not even going to try to spell that one maintenance did I spell that right let's see here uh, septic maintenance I did not spell it right so we'll do let's see right like this correct our spelling and put it right like this all right so maybe we can do something like septic maintenance now now we're getting somewhere okay now I have an offer that pays $80 for septic stuff I also have other things like I could go over here to offer vault and I can type in septic right septic uh, let's do plumbing okay let's see am I on oh yeah you know what I have uh, clear let me do this off here because sometimes we get interesting results so we will be careful there septic there we go there we go all right I had a filter on right so now we have septic here which is two to thirty dollars a call septic fix so lots of different things here and we have Clickbank and if we go to spy foo and type in septic services or plumbers or whatever it is now I got something that's hey there's some money there we can see the advertisers are paying five dollars a click monthly cost on that traffic would be like eighty four hundred dollars a month how many of you guys are getting this and you're like okay it's a little different than the stuff I'm teaching learning about stickers and you know ways to make money and ideas this is actual real world stuff that I can do and if you dig it smash the like button now we can go through and see okay this has money now what we know right on the get-go is we have a constant I get eighty four dollars when they buy that thing I get two to thirty when they do the phone call they don't even have to buy anything that's a constant this doesn't change I mean it could change down the road but most of the time it won't it's been there for years now what I need to do is I need to say to myself okay what would these people like I got a lot of people like if you go over to the old chat GPT and you ask it how many people have septic tanks there's a lot of them okay so we're gonna go through and say well if I had septic maintenance how can I create something with AI that will help these people now if you're saying oh well you know that looks competitive don't worry that is not the purpose we're creating this for just yet so if I go through and I do septic maintenance 
I can do something like this and go to ChatGPT and say, let's create a septic maintenance guide for people with septic tanks. Okay, Much like the guide we're doing for the realtor, same thing. We are giving the value up front. Here is this free thing. I expect nothing in return, much like this video. I'm teaching you stuff. You're getting answers. You're getting help. It is free. It is value up front. I know that people that see value up front will probably go and buy a high ticket niche because they're going to want to work with me and do this in a very specific way. So now I have like understanding. It's going through. It's doing all the work. I can also say things like, what are some weather issues to watch out for when dealing with a septic tank? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to create something that is really going to do a good job for people with septic tanks. I'm going to talk about prices. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about that. Now, this is one example that I didn't plan on doing today. I wanted to show you one that I would do that would work in a simple way. Now, other niches you can do would work really, really well. What I usually like to do to find these niches is use expired domains or auction domains because those will tell me something and also give me a footing, right? So like we went out there and, and uh, we had someone with the domain, I think Matt's here, he had the domain podcast pontifications <coughs> and with his domain, <coughs> excuse me, he had a lot of different rankings. He just got a ranking the other day on his new site, how to sell a podcast. He's also got Spotify rankings, Spotify charts, and on and on we go. Now, if you look at this domain in the heyday, which was like a year ago, I think it was, maybe even uh, two years ago. There you go, two years ago. So two years ago in this domain's heyday, it was all about podcast stuff. Okay, now we know podcasts, you could do hosting, you could sell this, you can sell that. So again, the lead magnet that we are going to look at is going to be how do I create, here's, here's a guide on how to sell a podcast. Very cool. It will get distributed. It will work well. You can put that out there. Okay. Now the key is in putting your links and your offers within that giveaway. Okay. That's what's going to make this whole thing um, work, right? It's going to sing like crazy when you make it work. Now we're going to go through like that domain uh, or this one for fish, right? This is all about fish stuff. Maybe you could do one about how to, um, you know, make fish, how to know if the fish is good or bad or different types of fish or things like that. How to cook fish could be a very, very good one. Um, we also go through and you can take a look at uh, some of the ones that, uh, let's see here, some of the ones that uh, I buy. Let's see, uh, GoDaddy auctions. I think I can pull up some of them here. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe it'll be nice and and show us some of the ones here. Bidding one. Okay, good. It is going to do it. Right? And we could go in and take a look at some of the ones that, that I purchase here, and they are based on things that, that work really well. This was bladesonline.net. I'm thinking, okay, this is one where um, it talks about different kitchen knives and chef knives. This is something that can work really, really, really well. If you go here and you do chef, you'll see uh, Dynasty Chef Knives pays $38. So now we're like, oh, wait a minute. So now I'm seeing that I'm thinking different. Where other people are thinking, make a book, make a sticker, hope that it works. It's hope marketing. This is not hope marketing. This is strategic thinking and creating something that you can make an afternoon that'll work very, very well. Like Kodiak says, some kind of tool, calculator, white paper, ebook, something that's going to help them. It can also be a video. Some of the things we are going to look at from this list are like, um, let's say, uh, niche website, webinars, uh, lic licensing content, um, Amazon FBA, e-commerce store, membership sites. All of this stuff can work. You could have a membership site about different ways to uh, cook or different, different um, products that help you cook or chef products. Uh, one of the videos we're going to have up and coming is going to be about celebrity stuff, right? Because you're going to find that there are people out there that are like, okay, Chef Ramsay knife, right? 
They're gonna look up, what kind of knife does the guy use? What is something of value you can make is popular, um, popular uh, you know, knives that chefs use, right? People are obsessed with cooking shows online. This is something that would work in an easy way or even Chef Ramsay pans. What kind of pans do they use? Um, different things like that and you see that people are searching for this. How many of you guys are getting this and you're like, okay, this is making sense. I'm getting it, it makes sense. I go for something based on what people are looking for based on how I can make money. I mean, you go out there and you're like, okay, maybe I could do chef knives or pans or whatever and they are going to pay money. And all we need to do is create something up front to make this work. Now, we can pair this with the domain method. This is why um, our high ticket niches are so popular because these are the domains that we use, right? So bladesonline.net, yes, I can create a bunch of giveaways for here's Chef Ramsey's knives, here's you know, uh, Guy Fieri's knives, here's you know, uh, whatever, here's a, a sushi knife, here's these type of knives, and all these different kind of things that will work, okay? And this is what we do. Now, maybe I've done a disservice by trying to teach this in the past and it's gotten kind of convoluted, but when I buy these domains, this is what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking, okay, fishing knife world. This guy's doing fishing knives, okay? And you can see some of them I get pretty inexpensive. Some of them are more expensive like this one here uh, that we sold last week for colleges in California. So let's say something like this, okay, where you're like, oh, here are the colleges <coughs> in Southern California all I would need to do, what would be value? Well, value could be, okay, let's go in, let's make a guide with AI on scholarships in California and how to get tax credits or how to get California to pay for you to move to California for college or something like that where we are providing something up front, right? Very, very simple, very easy. And when looking at this, we go through and say, okay, well, maybe there's like California, scholarships okay All right like this California scholarship and I'll tell you a lot of people don't get this but a personal uh, thing with me and my family is we never went to college my brothers didn't go uh, my kids went uh, for a little bit but they were the first ones to go to college that I knew of and I didn't realize how complicated the process was I mean you literally go to a, a college and they're like how much does this college cost and they say, well, how much equity you have in your house? And I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like the right question to ask. And all of this stuff was very, very, very convoluted. And having a guide would have absolutely helped me. I would have paid for it. Really, really good stuff. And we start to understand, okay, these are things we're building. Now, when you pair this with our high ticket niche method and the way that we're putting these together, it works. Like fastplumbing.net, this is one. I'm sure we could probably put with the uh, septic tank type stuff, right? This is more about plumbing, but same kind of vein. It would work really, really well. Or maybe we'll go through and take a look at like, uh, maybe we have the fishing one. Let's try to look at some others here. And also something like this one here, candle making fun, uh, did really well. This is for candle making. You could talk about, oh, the different waxes, the different things. Again, that would be more on the lines of like generating Amazon income and different things like that. But we see, okay, this works. Green Roof Guide, um, this is one we have uh, on our domain site right now, which is going for all kinds of hydroponic stuff, right? So we look at this and we're like, oh, check this out. This domain is ranking for hydroponic tower garden. Like that's got a lot of searches. So now we're looking at this and we're like, okay, I can go to ClickBank. I can type something in like hydroponic and I'm gonna see there are offers that I can use, $16, $63, aquaponics, and on and on we go. There's also stuff on Offer Vault. So what we're doing is we're finding our constant and we're building that thing that is going to make us recurring revenue over and over and over again. And it's not that difficult to do when you realize that it's about the value you put up front and center. Now, do you need a website to do this? You do not. You can do this with a PDF. You can literally go out there and say, 
okay, um, now please make a simple guide on septic tank care tips and everything else we talked about. You can go through and you can put this in a guide. This is the kind of thing you can make in three hours, maybe even less. This is the kind of thing where, you know, if you do a really good job, like we have a team that makes these and it takes about one person per day to make a really, really good one. And if I can make this really good and get it out in front of people, it can work in a real world way. You can have pictures of, you know, septic tanks and talk about, hey, when this happens, watch out for this. And then all you would do is lead them back to uh, your PDF. Or if you want to do the website method, you'd lead them back to, you know, septic whatever uh, com, And it would work in a very simple way. And it's, it's basing it on data, knowing that the offers are out there. And then when we go to get traffic, it's a whole different ball game because when we're going out there, most people are thinking, oh, well, you know, I got to get SEO or I got to do this. What's going to happen is you are going to now be in a league of your own. If you are going to try to get these real estate people or these septic people interested in your stuff, now you have a guide, something that is a value that you can give away. Once you have that, you're in a different league. Like right now, you're here with all the other marketers and you're like, I want to promote some affiliate offer, but I don't know what to do. And I want to make passive income, but I don't know what to do. So I'm sad, right? But once you have this free guide, and if, if it's actually worth a darn, okay? I'm not talking some crappy guide that you take two seconds to make. I, I'm talking make something really good. If you're in the planting niche, maybe you have a specific planting guide for different seasons of the year or even different places to plant things or different fruits that are good for health issues or whatever it is or aquaponics or whatever. And you start to realize, okay, now I'm gonna make this good guide. Once I have this, this will attract traffic when done correctly. Because now I can go out there and I could say, oh, I can make a YouTube video about, hey, here's septic tank number one issue. Here's how to fix it, right? And you go through and you look it up and you're like, okay, now I have something that I can work with, right? Because now I can go over to YouTube or TikTok or whatever it is. Get this camera, there we go. Come on, come on over here. All right, camera, let's see if we can fix you. It's trying to follow me. I don't know. It's got me not very centered. There we go. Oh, come on now. Oh, I've got to turn off tracking. Okay. This way. Over here. Over here. Down here. Oh, not up. Down. There we go. I think we're there. Gotta love robot cameras. Okay, so now we're going through and we're looking at this and I can go over to YouTube or something like that. Septic maintenance. Okay, and if you look at septic maintenance and stuff like that, a lot of these are no face videos, right? So you're like, oh, now I'm working backwards and making this work, right? Here we got how to maintain septic. Does I don't think there's a person in that one, can't tell. Um, this one has a person, but now you're seeing, okay, there's all this stuff. Here's one, uh, fix slow drains. Here's a guy doing this. But what we would do is we would just have our guide <coughs> and we'd say <coughs> today, I'm going to, here's, here's a cartoon one, right? I would just go through and I would say, well, here are the seven things you need to not know, or you need to do and know to keep your septic tank happy and whatever, right? And here's some little tablets and whatever, and you would do a really good job of helping them out, right? Here's some Septics 101 course, uh, mistakes, there's a good one, mistakes, um, different things like that. And you can go through and you could say, now please share some top septic mistakes. And again, now we're working backwards and we're building something of value. And if you spend time with this, like I guarantee if I spent, you know, a week or so learning about the septic market, by the time the week was up, if I did a really good job, I'd probably know more than most of the people in this market, right? I'm gonna know a bunch of stuff and it's gonna work in a very simple way. Hey Lily, how you doing? All right, so really cool stuff and we look at it and we're like, okay, now I got all this stuff that we can use. 
using a garbage disposal excessively all this other stuff and we start to understand oh wow now I'm doing something based on data that's gonna work I'm getting a domain that will work uh, based on the data as well super super simple and then I can go through and say well I can lead them to um, a site with ads on it right very simple uh, Tani says affiliate with the different septic tank dealerships or builders or cement well I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do something like more like this where we're gonna get paid here that way I don't have to deal with people and get checks and all that I just go to lead smart or smart ad and and I, I get it right then and there um, you can also do you know different septic tank there's like solvents and things like that that would work as well now some other stuff that we can look at is really like what niche is out there the college one we see um, the fish one there's all kinds of things that you can use smart business hacks um, this is one for smoking meat right here's one you can create all kinds of different uh, tools and things like that Ed says can you run both offer vault and Clickbank absolutely you can run as many as you want AdSense offer vault Clickbank most of them are pretty cool about that um, and when you start to look at this it's like okay well maybe I can go on Amazon and do something like uh, septic right like this and you're gonna see different septic treatments right so now I can say oh hey here's a septic treatment or, or, or whatever it is very simple think in terms of what your market would actually want if we were to go out there and say well maybe we want to do like um, let's say romance okay maybe there's something for romance to get our mind out of the the septic area <laughs> kind of annoying market but now we look at this and we're like okay text the romance back it is getting sales it makes forty three dollars uh, per sale very simple right we go through and we'd be like okay maybe using our keyword tool we can do text um, let's do text romance okay or maybe even like spicy texts or whatever it is um, okay so let's see text romance text um, wife maybe something like that maybe text messages for your wife hopefully nothing uh, mixed it does weird okay so like these kind of things to text the wife or um, romance or, or text date or whatever it is right and what you would do is you would go out there and you would say okay great so now again this would be an easy version of a money magnet what are some examples of spicy or let's say romantic that way we don't get too spicy got to keep it safe here romantic text to send your wife okay now you might be asking yourself well how is this going to make money okay well first we could be like hey print this out or download this guide and you can text these to your wife and blah 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 the way it's gonna make money is by a book like this hey if you enjoyed these texts go get this again I can do this in a PDF obviously disclose that you are an affiliate but this is the kind of thing where if I did it right I mean think about this ladies and gentlemen this is where the rubber meets the road if I go out there and I'm like okay now I have this let's say I have how to text your wife how to um, spark the romance whatever and I have all these examples I can now turn these into little traffic magnets maybe I go through and I, I read them or have AI read them on a video or a TikTok or whatever it is right have you guys seen those videos where literally all they're doing is going to a phone emulator right watch I'll show you how easy this is it's absurdly easy let's do um, phone message emulator right and people watch these like crazy it's weird um, phone message fake fake text message something like that it's like it'll show you generator I forget the name oh, there it is fake text message .com. so like literally you go to something like this you re you create your thing you're like oh hey here's hubby and here's wife or whatever and you're like hey girl what's up or whatever hey dinner tonight right and you would actually film this thing making a text and then you can put you know AI voices to it or whatever and make it entertaining and what you will find out is all this stuff 
works in a really simple way. If we were to go to like TikTok and do like romantic text, you're going to see um, a ton of different ones. Let's do message. Let's see here, romantic text message. Yeah, see, uh, romantic text to make uh, a woman obsessed with you, 69,000 searches a month. How to melt her with text, 1.5. I mean, like literally, it's not that hard. And people will watch this kind of stuff. And then you're like, oh, well, what else can I do? Flowers. Send her some flowers. $6 a lead. Here's $2 on a 60-second call. FTD flowers, that's probably for a lead. Maybe you can do something like date night ideas or gifts or whatever it is, right? I mean, Valentine's is coming up and people spend money. I mean, like, let's do, um, here's playful and flirty. They've got all this stuff, right? They're, they're literally doing it. How much is spent on Valentine's Day USA? It's probably a ton of money. This is something you can do in a very simple way. Um, so they are saying a significant, come on, you could do better than that. Let's see. Americans are set to spend an estimated total of $25 billion on Valentine's Day. Jewelry, greeting cards. So I can go through and be like, hey, you know what? Instead of just texting or something, why don't you go and get her a ring? And you can do like, you know, Blue Nile or whatever it is. And these are the kind of things where it's like, you need to be thinking different because if you do this, right? Let's say you, you sit down and you create a really good guide on how to text your girl or wife or husband or whatever, and you make this really good thing that they will actually use. And you forget about money for a minute. You're like, I'm gonna make this the best ever. Best ever, make it, like, I don't know, make it 100 pages or whatever it is. Make it a really good one. And you're out there and you're like, okay, now the pieces of this will create traffic because we're gonna break it up. Then we lead to all the stuff that is gonna make money, which is our constant. Now, you can also turn this into blog posts and different things like that. If you so desire, it's actually super, super, super easy when you think about it in a different way. The problem is, is people are not think they're thinking more about what they want to make versus how the actual mechanics work, right? Very simple. Uh, buy her some expensive jewels instead. Exactly. Like, like, we're all programmed to do that, uh, which is cool. And like Kodiak says, this thing's going to stay out there forever. Like literally think about this for a minute. This here is a book about how to text the romance back. Could probably create a pretty good book with AI. This guy's had this out there for years. I've seen it on ClickBank for years. That makes him passive income. He wrote it once. There it goes. Done deal. Ready to go. Right? How many of you guys are like, oh, that makes sense. I get it. Or, you know, you look at <coughs> other things like schools or bathroom remodels. Right? You could say, oh... Um, here's how to save money on a bathroom remodel. You, when you look at it, what you need to do is you need to think about how many people are doing things at any given time. If we were to go through and say how many bathroom remodels are done in the USA or wherever, you could do worldwide if you want, per year. Okay, how many bathroom remodels are done every year? Let's see what they're saying. And again, ChatGPT can be your friend to answer questions about stuff like this. Yes, can you give an estimate? Let's see if it'll find them. Okay, so now we're like, okay, relevant. 27% of households completing a project. Okay, that's pretty big. Um, and the average remodel is 4,500 to 9,000. So you got a lot of people right now, this second, that are thinking about bathroom remodels. I probably know four people that are doing bathroom remodels right now, and I don't know a lot of people, right? And we start to look at this and say, hey, wait a minute. Now this is making sense. Now, 
<laughs> all I would need to do is use ChatGPT to make that guide. Now, a lot of people are struggling with this and they're starting to think like, okay, you know, how does this work with making this big thing to sell? Well, don't start with that. Start small. If you can start with a giveaway and affiliate marketing, later down the road, once you give away a bunch of these, then start thinking about your own product. But first, prove the concept. What happens is so many people are trying to build this gigantic thing all at once instead of like, oh, hey, maybe I can make this thing and make $10 a day or $20 a day or whatever it is. We need to make something very, very simple. We need to make something very easy and we need to go and get it done now. When we start to realize, okay, let's build this. Maybe you go out there and you're like, okay, well, I know the passive income market. Just yesterday, I was like, okay, AI, what are some passive income things? This is the kind of thing you can make into a guide that would work really, really well. I gotta tell you, there are guides out there in affiliate marketing and making money online that are garbage, complete junk, and yet they build businesses. Now, if they can make junk and build a business, surely we can do a good job and build a business. Maybe we could talk about different things and use AI to help us in an easy way. It can create videos for us. It can create uh, the PDF for us. It can help us find offers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for things that have the ability to do recurring. So when we go out there, we are gonna say, okay, we need to have something that is recurring. Okay, and this can be recurring traffic. Okay, recurring traffic is recurring income. Might not be as stable as everything, but nothing really is. But if we do recurring traffic, okay, maybe people are going to our videos, our stuff all the time. Or we can do software as a service. When we looked at that example where I made $5,000 last year, that was one piece of software and it recurs every month. So I'm making $9 a month for every referral I get from as long as they're referrals, right? So if one guy signs up one time, stays for 10 years, that customer's worth $1,000. Now, most people don't see it because they go, Marcus, you only got $9. What, am I gonna go get a hamburger at the McDonald's? Well, no, I'm gonna get that every single month for years. And I gotta tell you, like our Blog Profit Network product, apparently it's a really good uh, uh, mem membership site because people stay like 15 years and they get value out of it. One person, you might say, well, $37 a month, that doesn't add up. 37 times 15 years, that's 37 times 150 months, if you round it, right? That's a lot of money. And you start to realize that was technically, technically, I made all that money on one day when they bought. Very simple. We can also look at Amazon. We talked about Amazon. Right? If you have Amazon and you have your septic guide, okay, they could go and they can buy the, the septic, um, what do you call it, the, the supplements or the, the septic uh, chemicals and things like that. A newsletter, creating a newsletter is something that can provide recurring income. Uh, PDFs, tools, domains. Uh, years ago when I got into affiliate marketing, um, and I first started buying and selling domains online, there was a guy out there, he was in Hong Kong, and he would buy domains and he would park them, right? And I also had a friend in Colorado that did this, they parked domains, and they would park the domain, get the traffic from the domain, and it would make them money, right? You see this all the time, whenever you see a domain that has like that blue page, and there's little links you can click, nine times out of 10, that's domain parking. All they're doing is buying a domain and parking it for the traffic. So maybe they'd get, you know, Pacific Fish Grill or something like that, or maybe even one like these that I get pretty inexpensively, like this one I got uh, this morning for Food Recipes Central. All right, this one here, it gets traffic. It already has traffic. Look at this, 2,000 keywords on this domain talking about how long is sushi good for, how much meat per person, different questions like this that AI can ask in a, or answer in a very simple way. And all I'm doing, creating the guide, putting it in front of them. But parking a domain is something you can do. If the domain gets traffic, you can make money over and over. Now, this is something that I do all the time um, when influencers don't get their domain name again, I'll buy them, be like, okay. 
let's lead it to, to whatever I think that person would want. And what happens here is you start to realize these things can add up. When you start to understand, okay, here's one about insects, right? Um, and a lot of these are, are ones that we get for our high ticket niche program, right? And we're seeing like, okay, here's different things about getting rid of roaches and, and, and things like that. Here's one for uh, quality air, right? Choosing a, a air thing. Um, Kodiak says, would you rebuild those keywords or try something new? Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna rebuild the keywords. Right, nine times out of 10, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a site like this one uh, or, or Meat Smoking Guy or whatever, and I'm gonna build it up over and over and over again in a very strategic way. I mean, this thing had a ranking. It had a number 19 ranking for Weber Smoky Mountain. That term gets 9,300 searches a month. I mean, that is a grill you could sell. You go and you're like, oh, hey, you know, Amazon's got the Weber Smoky Mountain, or maybe you go here and you do uh, barbecue or something like that, or grill, right? Um, here you go, roasting grill basket. Here's a rolling grill, Pit Boss uh, Grill, Pit Boss Austin, Weber Grill Voucher, right? Lots of different offers that you can use, or of course, you can even go to Amazon and sell it as an Amazon affiliate. Very, very simple. Um, are we gonna use Wayback Machine? No, I'm just gonna use um, what ranks, right? So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at what ranks and I'm gonna build that up again. Um, very important that we use that and make it work. Like this guy here, Matt rebuilt this one with the post on that exact page and it works, right? And a lot of this was created with AI. It's not that difficult to do. We just wanna do really good uh, with that stuff. Now, as far as plagiarism issues, I have a video coming out about up and coming plagiarism issues because AI, with the amount of people, it's gonna to start to plagiarize itself because people always look for basic, simple, easy shortcuts rather than providing good value. That's what I'm talking about here. Providing good value will get you a um, recurring income when done correctly. But the problem is, is people don't want to sit there for a day and create something of value. They're too busy going from one thing to another thing and getting scatterbrained, and that's why they never make money, because they are all over the place. Um, if you own the site, is it plagiarism? That's a gray area. Um, I would not take content from a domain I own, because all I bought was the domain, not the website. So you got to look at that. Now, what we're doing here is taking a look and finding the offer first, and then going through and saying, okay, how can I reverse engineer it? Now, you can either find the offer first or find the domain first. If you wanna do this free, no domain, no hosting, just PDF, you're not gonna do the domain, so you do the offer first. If you are gonna do um, the domain way, which is gonna put you, I mean, when you think about it, think about how far ahead someone like the meat smoking one or like this, colleges in Southern California, okay, this one ranks for keywords that are literally like 94 competition. That's absurd. So do you think this guy's gonna be farther off than if you just started out in the college niche? Of course he is. This guy's like five years ahead of the game and all he's gotta do is put the content up and make it work. And you guys have seen this time again where we have something like Moji Edit, right? This was one of my students that got the site. He's now ranking for, so this was, this was when I bought the site I think we actually bought it in like June or something, um, which was, I think you can see on the map what it looks like when we buy these. I mean, it, it works over and over and over again. So we bought it right here in like July, and you can see it just skyrocketed up, and now you're seeing it's ranking for 20, almost 13,000 keywords, 41,000 traffic on the keywords, traffic value. I mean, you see that it's like, oh, hey, all we have to do is build it. Uh, Mark says you could harvest the slugs from the archive, but not the content. Correct, correct. Um, and so you start to look at this and you're like, oh, now I see how it works. And it's not even that expensive. Like here's one for jet boat owner, right? You could go through and say um, boat owner, <coughs> maybe make an article or guide. But when you start to see that, you're like, okay, gifts for a new boat owner, find boat owner, uh, gift for new boat owner, boat owner gift ideas, things like that, which is interesting. And you're like, okay, can I create content about a boat owner and maybe get them to like boat insurance or whatever it is or things you need to know 
as a new boat owner. I mean, when you start to realize this and you're like, hey, these companies that are huge, even Amazon, you look at Amazon, they are not making money on one keyword with one thing. It is all broken up, much like where we showed you the example with the uh, lemon pepper. The grocery store is making, like, that lemon pepper makes more than we do. Think about it. That's making more than we do, which is insane. And we're like, okay, well, now we can look at that and be like, okay, how does it work? Now, when you look at that, people search for that online. Lemon pepper. Now, what most people are trying to do is make a gigantic food website rather than focusing on one little thing, right? What if you were like, hey, I'm going to do a good job, and I'm going to find the best darn lemon pepper out there, and I'm going to sell it? Or maybe the best recipes or whatever. Like you go out and say, okay, find some lemon pepper recipe things or, or the best lemon pepper recipes or <coughs> whatever it is. And you start to realize, hey, wait a minute. Now I got something I can work with. Now, my advice would be to try to find stuff that pays really well. Um, Amazon selling lemon pepper, you're going to have to sell a ton of lemon pepper to make that work. However, maybe I can find something else. Maybe there is a, a seasoning you know, kit or pack or whatever. Let's try Offer Vault. <coughs> Excuse me. Seasoning or maybe uh, cooking. I'll try cooking, right? So like maybe I could talk about that and find what I call um, the jugular offer, the big offer. Right? Maybe there's something out there, like maybe I can do um, sunflower cooking oil or something like that. Again, I would probably find something better, like the knives. That's probably where I'd go because it pays more. Um, but that would work really good. Now, let's say knives. Okay, kitchen knives. All right, I make a guide. It's very simple. New, <coughs> please tell me all the different types of cooking and chef knives and what they do, right? And we can go through and find images, make an easy guide. Here's all the guide to the right knives when you're cooking and bada bing, bada boom, we're gonna sell the knife. And when we have something like a domain, do you guys see how it's compounding? I'm like, okay, now I got bladesonline.net, which ranked four different words about different knives. So I'm already ahead of the game, right? How many of you guys are like, whoa, wait a minute. And that's why our high ticket niche program is so popular because we are putting you ahead of the game. And you can see that at highticketniches.com where we literally take these domains, we make content on the stuff that it ranked for, we get you guys the rankings, we build the site, we show you how to make it work, bada bing, bada boom, you make it happen. Now, of course, a lot of the stuff that we've talked about it's not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Like, we don't know what you're going to make. This is a business. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. But when you understand, wait a minute, okay, I could literally go out there and go to TikTok and be like, oh, how to cut a tomato, how to dice a, a this. And you'd go out there and you're like, okay, what kind of stuff would sell this? Maybe we'll go and do um, dice <coughs> onion. If I could spell onion right, that would probably work, right? And you see here, dice onion, and you can see uh, how to dice an onion, how to dice it without crying, best way to dice an onion. Onion, ha I mean, you look at this and it's like, hey, people are looking this up and you can probably get them to buy the knives because I'm sure they're interested in cooking. And guess what? Again, a lot of people don't think big picture. Dice an onion gets 1,700 searches a month. Okay, that's not much. You're probably not going to sell that many knives. Let's just get real. However, watch what happens when you compound it. TikTok, 130,000, 500,000, 9 million on dicing stuff. And you don't even have to be in the camera. Like this guy ain't even, well, that guy is. But this guy's not in the camera. How to dice? Not in the camera. This is kind of thing where when you're thinking about content, uh, without showing your face and no face videos and things like that, boom, that's where it's at. People talking about, oh, you got to go out there and make this video about, you know, clowns surfing or whatever. 
that's not based on data and it's not based on what's going to make money, right? We're going to go through and make this work. We're going to make it work in a really, really simple way. Uh, Caffeinated Blogging says, do we need to check these domains in case they were blacklisted spam sites? Now, using the tool that I use to find domains, uh, this has a Spamzilla score, right? And this, by the way, full transparency, let me show you how this works. A couple of years ago, I made a video on how to use Spamzilla. That is the $5,000 example. I actually went out there and I bought Spamzilla.com because I was like, hey, pretty cool. Um, I, I lead that to my tutorial and I make money on it in a very simple way. But looking at this, it actually has a spam score, right? So you could see, yeah, this one is high. This one is, is medium. Most of the time, they're okay. What I'm looking for is do they rank currently, right? Does this currently have any rankings? So the knife one today, it has 32 rankings today. That one's fine. We're probably okay. Three hours ago, come on, we're doing all right there. Now, are they great rankings? No, probably because the person didn't know what they were doing. Um, so we're going to do better. LifeCat says, oh, wait, here we go. So this is the, this is the rankings now. And this was the uh, Spamzilla score here, right? So we could see like Santa Barbara Gardens. Maybe that one will have some stuff <coughs> that we can use. And we start to understand pairing this with each other is going to work like crazy. And for those that are like in it to win it, boom, there you go. Uh, do I own Spamzilla? I do not. I own um, a domain that talks about the training for it. And that does really well. I think, uh, let me see if I can pull that up. I think I've made quite a bit. Um, let's see, no, it's Thrive, Thrive Cart. Um, off of this, and again, this is one little thing from one little tutorial. And when you look at it, let's do all time, you can see this is a Spamzilla commission. So I've made about 13,000 bucks on it. Now, does it pay as much as I'd like? No. Have I generated that much traffic? Not really. I only got 10,000 clicks to it. And you start to say, okay, well, cool. If I was to do this, I could go out there and say, okay, please tell me about buying expired domain names for resale and SEO purposes. I think I spelled it wrong, but there you go. I can go through and I can make a guide on how to do this, right? And then I could say, now share some tools, domain buyers use. And we'll go through and we're like, okay, now we go and bada bing, there you go, right? And this is real world stuff. I'm showing you, hey, look, this is, where'd it go? This is real world, I refresh, there you go. Uh, today, have I made anything yet today? No, yesterday, 18 bucks, week to date, uh, week to date, load. All right, it's being slow, but um, you can see here it is, all time. Um, there's the example there, bada bing. Uh, let's do last year. So last year alone, without doing anything, um, it generated 5,500 bucks, right? And so we're starting to look at this and be like, hey, check this out. This is real world stuff. And when you start to like, imagine what would happen if I made a bunch of TikTok videos on buying domains or YouTube videos on buying domains. Again, I don't have to be in them. All I need to do is go out here Take something like this, now share some tools buyers use when getting expired and auction domains, right? And this is why like when we do our high ticket niches and stuff, we have this system set up where we are doing this for you. I have a whole team um, that does this, which is really cool. Uh, someone says, can you do a Wix versus WordPress? So I'm gonna say, yeah, I mean, I'm going to use WordPress hands down, and I, I did do a video on that, but I think that's the wrong question. I think you need to find your niche first, right, and then worry about all the other stuff later. But if you want to learn about hosting, I have a, a video at uh, get, oh no, gohubsite.com, gohubsite.com. So here you can see it actually does a really good job of sharing the tools that people use. <coughs> you could do how about <laughs> Spamzilla. And what's going to happen is you can use these and see where the traffic is, 
right? So Estebot, okay? You got Estebot here, which does have an affiliate program. Uh, haven't made a whole lot with it, but it, it's decent. And you're going to see people do search up Estebot. Okay? So that's something I can use. So, hey, this works good with Spamzilla or whatever it is. And it's not that hard to do. Um, now, one of the things I did want to share with you guys is in Blog Profit Network this month for February, we are actually going to be teaching this process in whole. So we're going to teach you how to make these money magnets with AI. If you want to check that out, blogprofitnetwork.com, sign up. We have an offer right now where you get a domain name, right? We give you a, a decent domain name in there. Um, really cool stuff. Also, you can go to downloadmynotes.com to get the notes from this video. And when understanding how passive income works, you really need to think about it in terms of how can I do something small really, 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 really good? Right? How can I do something small that's really good? And when you focus on that, like Lily's out there, she says she's got her niche and everything, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Focus on, here's my niche, how do I create something that's going to work for them? Right? How do I look at that? It doesn't matter Wix or WordPress. I would say use WordPress because search engines love it. And if you're focused on Wix, you're probably more focused on what your site looks like rather than the sales message of your site. And we start to understand, wow, these things that we create can make us money in a very, very simple way. And all I need to do is think about how to value, right? Maybe people are looking for how to value your house, how to value your domain name, how to value uh, whatever, how to value a business, okay? When you look at how to value a business, ladies and gentlemen, these people are looking to buy and sell businesses, which sell my business is going to be something that pays a lot of money per click. And we start to understand, oh, wait a minute, everything is distraction except for this. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the money is. If you're tired of floundering around and tired of struggling, the key is, is zeroing in on one thing and doing it really well and doing it over and over and over again. If I put all my energy into selling 250 different books, okay, I'm going to be spread so thin, none of them is going to get the proper attention. However, if I focus on one and doing it really good, then I'm going to do a lot better. It's going to be easier to get traffic. It's going to be easier to make the content. It's going to be easier to connect with the people. Then I can branch out and do the same thing on the next one and the next one and the next one. And the idea, which is where I came up with the whole Simple Sites concept, is to make something simple that's going to produce income over and over and over again. And some of them will do, you know, a dollar a day, $10 a day or whatever. But over time, it's going to add up to a lot of money. And this is the same method that I've used to make millions and millions of dollars online using these little micro businesses, right? Is there something I can do? I know people talk about, oh, hey, go buy a, a laundromat. And that's fine for people who want to do that and have the capital to do that. But the average laundromat doesn't make all that much money. I can go out there and I can buy a domain name and a website and, and say, hey, now I can build this up and I can make the same amount of money the laundromat is making, right? And you start to understand, hey, wait, this is where the uh, rubber meets the road. Like this one was a high ticket niche we sold uh, just recently. Think about this for a minute. This was all about nursing track, the track to being a nurse. And this one had all kinds of rankings for different nursing programs, right? And you're like, oh, hey, this nursing program, that nursing program. And what I'm doing is I'm saying, hey, focus on this and this alone. And when it works, then you branch out. But if someone focused just on how to become a nurse, that niche is so big, there's so much money in it. I mean, watch this, become or nurse <coughs> requirements. And you look at this and it's like, oh, requirements for nurse, nurse practitioner requirements, all this stuff here. Now, what's happening is by creating the, the magnet, the traffic magnet, the money magnet with AI, we're bypassing the competition, right? We skate right across and now we're like, oh, hey, the competition doesn't matter because with something of value, now I can do the TikTok videos and it could be something simple like a video on how to cut an onion, 
Please be careful if you're making those videos. You can do it with stock footage. You can hire people to do it. And you start to understand, there we go. Robert says every domain is a business. Technically, every ranking is a business, right? So every domain, yeah, that would be a business. Um, and when you start to realize like, hey, wait a minute, let's look at how these work. And you're like, okay, let's do, let's just look at the last 100 that I bought, right? And you're like, okay, here's the last 100 that I bought. Let's put them into a batch tool. Okay, and with your high ticket niche, if you ever get a high ticket niche, we give you all the data and everything, um, keyword reports, everything. Like we show you the whole nine yards. But what you're seeing here is a lot of these have a lot of rankings. So here's a deal site. This has all kinds of like coupons and deals. Um, here's one for candles. We did that. Here's one I got yesterday for ceramic tile sealer which I thought was fantastic. I mean, you think about this, and it's all about like uh, grouting tile. How soon can you grout? All this tile grouting stuff, huge niche. You think about it, it's like that niche is gigantic. You could talk about grout. You could talk about sealers. You could talk about counters, remodels. I mean, there's so many things. And when you look at a niche like that, right, uh, nurses or, 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 or stuff like that, Boom, there you go, it works. Here's one for snowboard stuff or SEO tools or um, I don't remember what that one was. But you're starting to see, hey, wait a minute. This is stuff that actually works. Here's a couple of mortgage ones. Travel, uh, one about ferrets for people who have pet ferrets. Uh, I had a friend years ago who had a um, site about making parrots talk and he was making a full living on it, which was crazy. Um, do I do one-on-one -on -one calls? We are taking them selectively, actually right now. Uh, we closed it down for like a year because I got too busy. Um, but we do those calls, um, let's see, strategy, I think it is. Yeah, so we do one hour calls here. Um, if you want to get that, just get with my team or whatever, or go to uh, Blog Profit Network and you can get the details there. Um, but yeah, like right now we are doing that because I'm training someone new to help me with that. Um, but yeah, that's the idea is like, okay, now we have something that's going to work and using these domains and, and looking at things in a very strategic way is what really helps. And if you're looking for questions on, on things like that, you can always go to any of my websites. If you go to affiliatemarketingdude.com right like this, um, you can see we have this little button down here. Let me see if I can make it. I think I need to shrink this down. So this button here will get either me or, or um, people that work close with me. They're all my people that work here work very close with me. I know them personally, you know, uh, everything like that. And um, you can click this and actually get help and say, oh, hey, I'm interested in a call or whatever um, and things like that. Uh, Carlos, good question. He says, uh, where would you place a PDF in the market? I think, let me see. Um, let me put the chat over here. I forgot to put it on the big screen. Give me one second and we'll see here. There we go. Um, PDF in the market. I think that's what it says. Where would you place a PDF in the market? Um, I would place it on my website. So ideally, you'd do like how I do with downloadmynotes.com, where I have the notes at downloadmynotes.com. They put their name and email in. So it's a very simple domain. That's where I would put that. Uh, is there a list of all the tools you use? There are um, lists of tools I use at affiliatemarketingdude.com. Um, that's where I would go. Like if you guys are looking for in more info, it's all here. You can get the notes from the videos, all kinds of stuff like that. And um, if you want to work with us, you can just click on, I think there's like a work with, yeah, this little button here or uh, there's a button on the side, which is really cool. Uh, in the giveaway, maybe it would be a post. Yeah, I mean, once you have the PDF, you could give it away on a press release. You could give it away wherever you want. Um, that's that's the, the beauty of it. On a budget, which is better, ChatGPT or Copilot? If all you have is 20 bucks, I'm going to say, I'm going to say get ChatGPT because it can do more data. Copilot is good for research. But if, if all you have is 20 bucks, get ChatGPT. It's probably going to do better for you. Um, what about promoting retreats? Is it too broad? 
it would depend on what type of retreats you want to promote. I, I think that would be a fantastic one because then you can do giveaways of what it does. What you're looking for, let me see if um, this works here. Hold on a second. Since we ran out of space on the chalkboard. Uh, what we're looking for is a branch out. So where most people see, and this is what I talk about with distinctions. Nobody talks about this, but I think it's so important. Um, what you're talking about, and this is what we do with my content business. So I have a business where we make content for people and they would come in and they would say, okay, how are we going to use it? And what's going to happen is they're going to say, well, I have these retreats to sell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, what, what are they about? Is it like a yoga retreat? Does it help with emotional balance? Does it help with recovery? Does it help with this? And I'm going to go through and I'm going to make giveaways for each one. If you have giveaways for each one, I mean, game over, you win. Here are the benefits of this retreat. Here are the benefits of that. And it's something that you can do in a really easy way. Um, same thing with me. Like what I do is I promote my offers. Okay. So it's like, oh, hey, you could, uh, you know, go to boot camp for people that want to meet me in person and have like a, you know, make money with Marcus retreat. I'm going to go through and find the steps people have to get here. Oh, hey, maybe they're researching this. Maybe they're researching that. Maybe they're researching this. And along the way, these are all traffic sources. And it's not just one person. It's thousands of people. And we're going to use that to branch out into what could I give away? Think about a realtor. Okay, if you have a realtor, what can you do? Okay, well, maybe I can do a price your house guide. Maybe I could do a, a, a worksheet. Here's a, a worksheet if you're thinking about selling your house. Here's a refinance worksheet. And realtors don't think this way. Most people don't think this way. They're just out there like, how do I get the next person? I better, you know, run an ad or whatever, which is good. But running an ad is what everyone else is doing, right? I want to do what's called attraction marketing. Attraction marketing is where I am using these little lead magnet money magnets. And again, if you don't have a domain, if you're like the guy who can only afford chat GPT, use that to make your money magnets. Creating a PDF is free. You can do it online free. And then put them at what you are trying to sell. If it's, you know, the proper way to dice an onion, think about that and put them to the stuff that, that you're working on selling. Maybe you go out here and you do um, house, maybe something about like house, house buying or how to start a house cleaning business, okay, or whatever it is. And you start to realize, okay, tiny house, uh, uh, garages or sheds or whatever it is, build your own shipping container house. And you start to realize, okay, everything is a little point and they are all passive income because I can create like that one little thing about the domain uh, Spamzilla tool, right? That's making me an average of what, $5,000 is 5,500 a year. So an average of like $19 a day or something <coughs> like that. <laughs> Bada bing, there you go. Uh, like Lily says, most people are too lazy to put in the effort. Exactly. And they don't see the vision, right? They're too busy thinking about, well, I want to make 100 grand a year. And it's like, that's fine. Lots of people make 100 grand a year. But how do they do it? Even you. You go to work every day. If you make 100 grand a year, you go to work every day and you get like $267. That's how you make 100 grand. Your, your boss isn't just like, hey, here's 100 grand. You have to show up every day. All right? Now, these little money magnets that I'm creating with AI for free are going to work every day. And they don't ask for a paycheck. They don't ask for anything like that. And they are making me money over and over. And imagine if you had one that made 19 a day, one that made five a day, one that made, maybe it does good, maybe 130 a day. Maybe here's one that does 50 a day. Here's one that does 10 a day. And one that does really good, maybe 250 a day. You're making a good six-figure income right then and there. Um, very simple. Govetta says, can you, can you explain domain parking? Sure. So domain parking as a passive income, what happens is you're going to get a domain that has traffic. So if you're using Spamzilla, you can go through 
and you can take domains and you can say, hey, I want to do it by traffic. Okay, now some of these will have absolute junk traffic. Oh, let's click the right one. And some of them will have good traffic. Okay, so this one here, uh, 59,000 visitors a month. Here's one with 16,000. So what's happening is you are buying the domain. Let's say you get this color one, color's name. Okay, this one's got traffic keywords. Hopefully it's clean. Yeah, some kind of movie thing, right? So something like that, uh, Santa Barbara, whatever, right? And you have all these different ones, all whatever, safe call, uh, different things like that, okay? What's gonna happen is you buy the domain and the domain has the traffic coming in, okay? You put ads on this, okay? There's lots of places you can go. You can go to Bula, you can go uh, wherever, and you could literally put ads on it and make money. And I've known people that have made multiple, like eight figures doing this method, eight figures a year doing this method. Again, results not typical, implied or guaranteed. Uh, getting to eight figures, I have never done that in one year. Okay, I've done a million a year, um, but you know, you look at that as like most people make nothing. But when you start to look at that, it's like, okay, this guy got a ton of domains. He was getting millions of visitors a day and making money on the parking of the domains. And you can do that with all these different domains. I like to put content on them. I mean, there was a, a study done. Um, Matt Diggity had some guys on who basically took a domain ranked it with a bunch of junk AI content, not recommended, but they made like 850K in 30 days. That's the power of this. What people don't get is with AI, if you're not making money now with AI, you probably never will, unless you learn how to do it right, which is what we're teaching here. Um, because it's so simple and straightforward that literally anyone can do it. Uh, how did the domain get traffic with content only ads. So the domain got traffic as the domain. So like these domains here are getting traffic. We just have to put some, like right now I buy it, it gets traffic instantly. Um, that's what we're looking at, right? So, so that's the, you don't have to do anything. Um, some of them, if they're getting traffic from, you know, uh, search, you'd probably have to build the stuff up. So it, so it keeps there. Here's one for like interview, uh, stuff. Looks like an interview, best online courses about interviews, right? So this kind of thing, okay, hopefully it's good stuff. Um, we'll keep it clean there. But yeah, hopefully, you know, you look at that and you're like, okay, maybe I can do a site about interviews, uh, questions and answers or whatever. Um, and again, very simple. Make your, your stuff there. Uh, wouldn't it you lose rankings quickly? They let it run their course. Some of them get what, so, so there's several different things here. We'll go in a different direction since you guys are all asking, okay? And if you guys like this, go to blogprofitnetwork.com, sign up. We have calls like this every week. We were able to answer a lot more questions there because I don't have to like, you know, worry about a uh, generic audience. It's, hey, you go on there, you ask your questions, but I'll give you the idea. And that's at blogprofitnetwork.com or you could get a niche at highticketniches.com. But what you're gonna do is a domain has two things. One, it might have what's called backlinks. So if you have a link on CNN, okay, or Fox, just to show you that I am not partial, could be either one, right? Uh, what's gonna happen is it, people will click the link. If the link is on a page, they're gonna click it, doesn't matter who owns the domain or not, right? So that would be traffic. Um, the other thing would be rankings. Will the rankings drop if you just put ads on it? 100%, they will drop. Right, that guy who made 150 or 850 grand in a month, things toast, doesn't rank anymore. All right, um, this one, yes, the rankings will, which is why we build them up. However, if you're getting this kind of traffic where they're actually clicking it, then you could do it. I mean, how many of you guys have clicked on a domain and it's like this domain's not available anymore or whatever? Um, very, that that's what's happening, right? And if the domain was up, they would get the traffic. So I've had that with, with a couple things. Um, I bought one years ago. I don't know if I've done anything with it. It was the free ad forum. Was it the free ad forum or free ad forum? One of them. But I bought it and it had a bunch of traffic and I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna redirect this to my stuff. Um, and it worked in a really easy way. Is this, is this me? 
I don't remember if this is me or not. I know I have like the free ad forum or free ad forum. Um, but either way, whichever one I bought, I have a lot of domains. Yeah, so mine was free ad forum. And I was thinking, okay, all these people that, that want to post ads online, you know, they're going to come to me and I'll teach them how to do it the right way. Um, so very simple. And we did a video on free ad forum and, and you know, it's very simple. So all I did was put this lead capture page up. See, I actually do this stuff, which is a free report with 100 free ad posting sites. So you think about that and it's like, oh, to people looking for uh, posting ads free online, right? So you go here and you're like, free classified ads. Okay, 1,000 people a month. Let's do uh, classified ads, 9,000 a month, free classified ads. Let's do um, ads, free ads. Okay, that's not what we want. Let's try um, post free ads. There we go. So see how this has a lot of traffic and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a giveaway. It's the old thing of... Um, a lot of people, they say, Marcus, you know, your thumbnails and your stuff, you know, uh, sometimes it's kind of clickbaity. And I'm like, well, yes, maybe sometimes we get sensationalized, but for a point, it's the old thing of give them what they want, sell them what they need. Okay? So what's going to happen is you're going to click it. I'm going to give you what you want, but in the video, I'm going to teach you what you need. You came here probably looking for, I want to go to ChatGPT and say, give me $10,000 a week. Great. Fine. Yeah, have fun with that. But in this video, I'm going to give you what you need, which is create that content. So they're going to come to me saying, hey, I want to post free ads. I'm going to say, that's not the way to, to do your business. You don't post free ads. What you do is you do the strategy that I teach you. Um, and that happens online all the time. And all I did was create that giveaway and bada bing, bada boom, we're ready to go. We can make money, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Fred says, great info, but for a 66 year old, you're really hard to follow. Do you have a step-by-step -step program? Yeah, if you go to affiliatemarketingdude.com, just click these, you can learn about our programs. I got a bunch of them. Um, high ticket niches is probably the best one because it is going to force you to hit the ground running. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts. We're gonna get you a domain. Um, you just tell us, you're like, hey, I like fishing. We'll get you a fishing domain. I like woodworking, get you a woodworking domain. Um, and we get you one that is, is based on what you want with the, link, the links, the backlinks, and we build it up for you and kind of walk you through everything step by step. And it's very simple, like it, it works if you do it. Here's one, streetsmartaffiliate.com. This is one where you can create a bunch of affiliate guides. There's people doing it. Uh, I did a video a couple weeks ago on the gals that were doing the shady affiliate marketing. Okay, now while what they promote is shady, the way that they're promoting it is with simple little videos and things like that that are the magnets that get them the money and it makes it over and over and over again. It's actually very simple. Um, I know a lot of people overcomplicate this, but I mean, think what would happen if you had a domain like a workout domain, right? And maybe you go through and you're like, okay, well, um, let's do foods after workout, right? People looking for foods after workout, okay? A lot of people are looking it up, okay? Now, again, this is elusive. You might say 150, that's nothing. Okay, fine, good. Foods after workout, this is going to have people looking it up. 23,000, 288, 1.8 million. You go to YouTube, high protein foods after workout, same kind of thing, right? So now you're seeing this in a different way and you're like, wait a minute, this market's not only way bigger than I thought, but I go over here and I'm like, okay, chat GPT, what are some high protein foods after workout? We make the deal and then there we go. So you're making the guide and give free with affiliate links. Exactly, I would make this here, be like, here's my guide to, um, Foods after workout, you could print it out, right? And if you look at it, it's Etsy, this has all this stuff there. People sell it. So me giving it away would work really well as well. And you start to realize, hey, wait a minute. 
this isn't as hard as everyone cracks it up to be. Even if you're, you know, 66 and lost, follow along, take notes, be in it to win it. Do you still use a timeout method? Yes, I do. Um, it's a little different now because Google makes you scroll and scroll and scroll, but it's still pretty much the same thing, right? So very simple. And you start to look at that and you're like, hey, there you go. Very simple, very easy. All I got to do is be in it to win it and make it work. Check out blogprofitnetwork.com if you want to learn this strategy in detail. Next week on Tuesday, on our Tuesday blog profit call, I'm going to go through this in detail. Um, you can also check out the other links um, or just go to our sites and see what we got there, right? All kinds of stuff. You can talk to uh, the people that, that work here and stuff like that. All kinds of stuff for you. But definitely smash the like button if you enjoyed this. Watch it again. Take some notes. I think there's a lot of things people might have missed. But when dealing with passive income, finding your market, giving them something, letting it live forever is the key to make it work. Um, no money for a website at this time. Where can I post my giveaway to get traffic? Make videos, post the link. Um, if you want to host a PDF online, you could probably, I mean, there's lots of places. You could use a Google, uh, Google folder. You could use Dropbox. You could use anything. Right, just get it out there, make it work. My advice would be, if you don't have money for a website, go get a job, support yourself, come back and, and do it when you can do it right. That would be my two cents. Again, you could do what you want, but that's what I would do. That is what I did. I had a job that supported me while I learned this stuff, and I used that to invest over and over and over again, and I built. Uh, Anime Girl, if you haven't decided on a niche, check out highticketniches.com. I mean, that's what we do. That's what I do. I'm good at a few things, not a lot of things, but I am good at finding niches and making them make money. And I'm really good at finding domains and making that happen too, which is really, really cool. So thank you very much. Have fun. Hop on over to the sites, check out the stuff. Blog Profit Network, if you're thinking about getting training, check that out. Tuesday's call is going to be a deep dive on this. We're going to start shifting it up a little bit, and I think you're going to love it. Super inexpensive, awesome, good stuff. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next training.